Hi everyone. This will be a quick video. Uh, it's going to I'm going to describe about the new uh, Hobbytech DIY resources. Um, this is my appreciation for your support. I never meant to create a, a, a quite substantial channel. I actually just want to record my own videos, experience uh, in building the cockpit, but turn out that it creates some excitement uh, to you guys and uh, I really appreciate that you you like the videos and content that I've created. So based on several requests that you made also to me uh, privately about sharing the files and uh, you know getting the resources uh, directly from me, I'm fine with it. So I don't plan to monetize it to, to sell the plan or whatever it is. Uh, I just make it uh, for my own pleasure or my, my own hobby well uh, and some of you guys even try ask me if, you, if I can make the cockpit for, for you guys but I'm sorry I cannot do that at this moment I still work full-time job uh, not as, as a youtuber I, I'm working on other other kind of line of work uh, this is really just my uh, enthusiast or hobby in terms of the aviation general aviation flight simulation flight simulation if you want to know i've been flight simming from 1984 using apple 2e or 3e <laughs> at the time it was really really just a line <laughs> drawn uh, flight simulator so you know my age <laughs> so it's i was in 84 still in high school so you can imagine that so that's long uh, back then uh, of course i'm not a serious flight simming a flight simmer. I never really learned how to do well in flight simmer. I just enjoy the experience, the graphics, um, that's all. And I, I'm not really kind of like trying to do best in fighting, combat kind of things. No, I, I, to be honest, I, I don't do that. Uh, uh, if you guys ask me to create a video about how to bombs uh, properly and even perfectly or trying to catch the bad guy and using missiles, Probably I'm I'm uh, I'm a poor uh, fighter, but I enjoy every uh, other experience trying to make it realistic, uh, you know, just for the general aviation. But I do enjoy trying to learn something and things like that. That's why I I do a lot of DIY myself. It's part of my hobby. So yeah, so there's several steps actually that I've created, like the the first uh, FA or multi cockpit or VR cockpit. There's another video about it. So it's very rudimentary, a very basic box, but a lot of box and a lot of button and box. So that is the first one. The second one I built is the FA-18C cockpit. So it's very serious work. It takes me one year to complete the whole project, even being helped by the pandemic actually, because I can work from home at a time. So I can uh, get out early from the job and then continue with the hobby in the, in, during the evening, right? Before I could take two hours just to go back from uh, office to home so by the end of the day uh, by the end of the end of the day I really get tired and I don't have time further to to complete some of the project but during pandemics I have kind of uh, ample time in the evening uh, to, to complete some of it so yeah so I, I managed to complete one year exactly almost 12 months if not pandemic probably could take another one and a half years so so sorry in total one and a half and a half year so okay so not to uh, not for going for further ado i i'm going to talk about what is in the resources so it will be a, a link to my google drive hobby tech google drive so there will be several folders so i the first one that i will share is the fa18c cockpit this, uh, there will be several cockpits or even multi multi-function cockpit that i built for fs2020 the a320 a button box, uh, yeah, it's a kind of uh, frequently used cockpit uh, panels, and then some others like car racing panels, whatever it is that I built. I'm gonna share the uh, the resources or the files uh, uh, into the Google Drive, but it will be on stages. So the first one that I built, uh, sec uh, that I've created, is actually for the F18C cockpit, but also I just finished uploading the Corel Draw multi-layer panel only. So there's a lot of file over there. Uh, unfortunately, forgive me for not make it tidy because it's like I just upload whatever I use right now. Uh, it's uh, mostly I've done it myself, so 
I don't want to post someone else work so some of the work that someone else did like for example the button box that I've used is not there because you can find it in Thingiverse for example right uh, there's a lot of resources in Thingiverse I'll put Thingiverse if you haven't gone there but there will be very uh, very helpful resources uh, free mostly uh, if you want to find uh, 3D models right for your 3D printing some of it is coming from there but most of the files that I've loaded, uh, I think all of them, are my own, right? So I've created from the scratch using uh, SketchUp and then, you know, whatever. Um, the Coral Draw is the panels that I've created using acrylics uh, uh, by laser cutting yeah, method. So I've laser cut each layer. So some panels uh, consist of like uh, minimum three to four layers even five with some fixtures or some some smaller details so coral draw that I've put it there they will consist of several layers so if you haven't really familiar with coral draw you have to go and try to find video about coral draw because it's quite complex a down thing if you done it the first time so it will be like top layer up topmost layer second top mid layer bottom layer but but the most layer so there will be several layers in the color draw that you can just cut the first layer or top layer and then once you cut it you have to glue it using acrylic glue and then paint it and engrave it uh, you know etc etc those video I've created the DIY video so I'm going to post the uh, post the, the link to my video on how to I built the cockpit some of it explaining about creating those panels using color draw and then laser cut whatever. So yeah, so I'm going to post the links all to my DIY video down there also. So it's going to be for you to be able to just quickly by using this video to, to link to uh, resources that you need. Okay. Um, and later state, I'm going to upload also the 3D models with SketchUp sources file. So I have most of the works and all of the work actually in 3D modeling. I use SketchUp because I have been using SketchUp for years, so I'm, I'm familiar with it. If you use other software, then you have to convert it. Okay, you have to convert it to other uh, format. Uh, I put the source on the SketchUp so you can export it, but also I put the STL file so you can directly put it into your slicer software like Prusa 3D slicers or uh, T2 box slicer for the resin. So I I I've done uh, two ways of printing uh, FDM filament based uh, printing and the resin printing so for knobs buttons with a lot of details I use resin printing also described in my DIY video of the F18C cockpit uh, yeah so it will be there uh, the, the guide but it's just general guide so how to use it how to make it works uh, I won't post it in the in my of the video you have to go to other resources there's a lot of abundant resources on how to use your FDM printer or resin printers uh, yeah there's a lot of and I don't know which one that you use anyway so my video might more, might not help you uh, go uh, go through the process anyway so you have to find out how to use your printers but I will provide the, uh, the sources okay so you can find it there a lot of 3d models from everything that I've used in the build okay except for the one that been created by someone else you can find it in the inverse i put it the link down below so the last one that i'm going to share and also provided in this video is several links that is useful to to my video to the source of the files and everything but in the google drive i'll put also a lot of link later on links and files uh, that i've used as a reference I might put a link only because it's someone else file so you have to go there and then see yourself although it's free uh, I have to appreciate uh, the, the sources and uh, the one who created initially like there's a I forgot the name but there is a, a web uh, a repository of FA18C photos very detailed cockpit photos with measurements so I really appreciate that guy who created that so I can really try to match up the size of my coral draw panel for example so yeah you have to go there so I'll, I'll put the link once I have consolidated some, some of the links okay so that is the video just to uh, 
uh, introduced the DIY resources once it's rolling. I think I'm going to update more and more and create another posting when I've up when I've uploaded the files there. So you can also go there and check again if there's new files and new resources being uploaded. Okay, so hopefully uh, those resources will be useful to realize or make it you know to make it happen for your dreams in building your DIY cockpit or any other requirements uh, even from simple button box into a very demanding fully authentic uh, or realistic uh, cockpit uh, it's up to you actually I just probably just in the middle you know some other guys like Warthog project is very <laughs> very great project and using a 3D projectors are uh, really amazed with it and all those LCD panels so yeah those Eden Warhawk project is one of the best that I've followed also and of course there's those crazy guys to build those uh, you know 737 or A320 you know a full cockpit that's my dream also but I don't know I could make it or not but yeah someday probably the the, the fighter models that I've created the F-18 is much easier because it's smaller but I try to make it fun, you know, make it likable. And so, but it's not, you know, showing the real LCD because I'm using VR anyway. So yeah, about VR also, I put it there. Some of the video that I've created, so it's very amazing experience. Anyway, uh, I can ramble around all day long, but you can visit uh, the Google Drive and download the files and. And hopefully if you find something good and then make it yourself and upgrade it, you can let me know and I can try to repost it also for the others to to use it or yeah, so we can uh, enhance all the, the current models and the resources that I've shared with you. Okay, so thank you for your support today and uh, yeah, so just invite your friend to, to subscribe and see my video that will be good enough for me. Uh, anyway, so... Good luck with your project, so hopefully you can also realize your own dreams in building your own cockpit, okay? Thank you, see you, bye!